All right, folks, back again. Um, so next up by our list is uh, Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Now, uh, we'll probably be skipping over this one for right now because um, <laughs> way back in, oh, God, seven years ago, seven years, Jesus Christ, seven years ago in 2016, uh, one of the first things I did on this channel was attempt to play Baldur's Gate 1 Enhanced Edition and uh, <laughs> promptly killed myself in the tutorial. <laughs> very, very good time. Um, at some point, I will be uh, getting back to that, but I don't see a point in playing Baldur's Gate 2 when I haven't even finished Baldur's Gate 1. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't think... I think we'll be passing on this for now, at least until eventually, whenever the day may come, that we get back to Baldur's Gate 1. Um, but it's been seven years, and it hasn't happened. So, you know, uh, hope springs eternal, though, I suppose. Um, damn, it really has been seven to 2016. Jeez. Getting too old for this nonsense, man. Um, <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Uh, so that means the Banner Saga 2 will be the next one. Um, I forgot to install it first. All right, I'm going to pause it real quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll get this installed and be right back. Okay, all installed. Um, now, just another thing while we're talking about this. You might know I have Bioshock and Bioshock 2. Both of these are the, the remastered editions. Um, I have uh, actually uh, played all of the Bioshock games in the past and completed them. Um, so I will likewise not be playing these. So I'm going to remove them from the list as well. Because uh, my understanding is that... Uh, well, I mean... the Gosh, I don't know. These came out in like 2015, the remastered editions. And they only touched up the graphics. So... Um, no point in uh, revisiting those unless, of course, you know, um, I get the urge to play them again, in which case, you know, we'll do a full uh, playthrough, kind of like what we did with uh, all the Half-Life stuff. Um, anyway, Banner Saga 2. Um, I do not own the first one, so we'll just go right into the second one. I don't know what this is. Um, looks like it's got, like, some animated art style. Um, perhaps Viking type with the horns? I see a centaur. Alright, so there's definitely... Yeah, this looks like... I'm seeing like some round shields. This looks like maybe like Norse. Apparently there's the Banner Saga 3. Um, we could watch a recap of the first one. Uh, Alright, there are no... There's survival mode. Uh, let's just... What's heraldry? Oh, apparently if we were a, uh, like, Kickstarter backer, we could create our own thing. It's the White Tree of Gondor. Um, we'll go with that one, sure. Uh, all right, new game. <clears throat> Choose it, import. Oh, that's fun. If we played the first one, we could import a save game. That's always cool when uh, when things like that happen. Rook overcome with grief from the death of his daughter at the Battle of Blarsgard. Rook, a skilled hunter and proven leader, wonders why anyone would still follow his lead with the help of a lifelong friend, the giant Varl Ivor. Perhaps he can change the tragic pattern of losing those who depend on him and ensure the caravan's safety on the long journey to the human capital, Arborang. And then we have Alette. Since the tragic events in Boar's Guard, the families of the caravan took look to Alette, daughter of Rook. Oh, okay. The former leader to guide them. Though young, her compassion for others and ability with a bow have impressed all but the most stubborn clan leaders. Calling on her personal resolve and lifetime friendship with the archer Oddleaf and the massive Varl Ivor, Alette must continue her father's work of seeing the caravan to the safety and the distant capital of Arbrang. 
Uh, I don't know. Rook's a cooler name than Let, so let's go with that. Stoic versus evil. Team in leader Alfram is a strong thunk out the flayed rock Alfram. Time continues washing over us moment after moment like waves on a coastline. Some more fears, more violent than others. So few of my kind, the giant war, remain alive. Even so, I find myself wondering if humans, while able to bear children, suffer more for the loss of loved ones. Several weeks have passed since we slew the Sunder known as Bellower, but the chaos of the world did not wither as we hoped. The world is breaking. We sail aboard hastily crafted ships for the safety of Arborain, the human capital. But the river curses us with a clear view of the dreads, assaulting another hopeless village. from those glowing rocks. This one's mine. Ooh, shank. Glowing rocks bad. <laughs> no, to the depths with you. Promote. Okay, except you're about to get plonked. Killing them? Okay. Go team! Damn it, Rook quit running ahead. Drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. Whee! Portrait show the order of initiative. Taking turns from left to right. Your heroes are blue, enemy is red. It's my turn to act! Oh boy! Um, okay, what do we got here? Movement hems for actions. This ring shows that Ivor is active. Blue tiles around him show where he can move. Okay, great. Uh, some heroes fill more tiles than others. Horned heroes are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. It's going to have a huge impact on your strategy. Cool. Alright, whatever. Let's go here. Target enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Hero tiles are blue, enemies are red. Target this enemy now. Alright, you can choose to either attack or break his armor. The numbers beneath each icon show the damage you will do to that stat. Alright, so let's clonk him with this. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of 8 strength means character will now do 8 less damage. If strength falls to 0, the character falls in battle. Interesting. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to more damage. In the future, the enemy has only 7 strength remaining. A strength attack will kill it. Click the red fist icon now to extract his strength and confirm your choice. But he has 4 armor. He has 4 armor. Why would that kill him? It just said armor reduces the... All right, whatever. Um, he's down. Each time you make your kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. Without an enemy to reach, this enemy will choose to smash an obstacle in his way. Obstacles on the combat board make you change tactics of play wisely. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now it's Hakon's turn, who appears to be out of range, but all heroes can use willpower to boost other actions by clicking on gold tiles a hero can move further than no usual at the cost of one willpower for each step that includes a gold tile 
Red pulsing tiles beneath your enemy show how close you'll have to get to be in range. Move Khan into attack range now. Clicking here is tile at any time will also bring up all of his combat options, including move, ability, attack, and end turn. Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but Hakan has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click the purple icon to access it now. Alright, cool. The ability description appears in the tooltips below. Hakan's thundering impact allows him to hit so hard that multiple adjacent tiles take damage on every hit. Alright, add strength and armor damage to target and adjacent enemies. 100% hit, blah blah blah. Great. Select the enemy's tile and confirm your choice to hit them hard. Hitting them hard. Pillaged. Powerful strike when there's only one enemy left. Heroes enter pillage mode. During pillage, each hero moves in order. And there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. If the character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. Uh, Leo will rest this turn. <laughs> Looks like the dredge is in some trouble. Rook won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost his damage. Click the dredge's grunt tile to attack. Click the red fist icon. Then a star above the fist to add willpower to the attack. The number of stars available each turn are determined by your exertion stat. Oh my goodness. You'll see the damage go up as you add willpower. Click the star, then the check mark to kill. Oh, there's a lot of a lot on the table here. <clears throat> uh, bro, what are you doing? What the fuck, man? What are you doing? <laughs> Bruh. What? <laughs> what is this shit? What? Bruh. You dealing no damage, my man. What are you doing? Like, what? What is... Doesn't even fucking matter. <laughs> Final blue dredge after your head is deflected and giant horns slam into the dredge surrounding you. Hiver pulls you two feet away from combat as other fighters rest to finish off the enemy. Your moves past you, the crowd, and showing you can stand on your own. I don't know what you were. He stops speaking as the village chieftain approaches. Laurel leader saving a human village from those things. Legends are made of much less. No oh, our leader, just Ivor. Those things are dredge, like the stories you probably heard as a kid. And it was Rook here who ordered us to stop. Forgive me. Maybe it's this never setting sun, or dredge, or the deaths of so many of my clansmen. I'm not myself. Man's eyes appraise you and he quickly nods. I'm Elio the Scald. Are you trying to drive the dredge all the way back north yourself? Uh, we should get ready to leave. So soon, but the villagers will want to throw a feast to honor you before you go. He means all of us, your people too. But the dredge are gone, we defeated them. You've got a lot to learn about dredge. They all do. That reminds me, we heard rumor the Sunder Bellower was laying waste to Bower's guard. More than a rumor, he's been dealt with. By your clan? Your Sunder Slayers? The term makes Ivor wince and ends Leo's excitement. But what about the deep shaking in the ground? Only yesterday we felt a rumble like none before. <laughs> Could be a giant serpent. 
Serpent in the sun, I'm no holy man, but joking about dead God feels wrong. About as opposite of Radomir as it gets, this one's determined to swallow us all. Looks skeptical. It's a big enough tail on its own. Then let's get ready to leave. Not to sound ungrateful, but this place, it's all we have. It's our home. Don't be stupid. More are coming. Wanting to defend what's yours isn't stupid, you know that. I know this village lost fighters today, so they have less of a chance of defending themselves tomorrow. Rook is right. I hope their defeat here today would keep the dredge away, but when voiced... Orsgard is the only other place I've seen in my life. This small village is all my family knows. Are things really as tragic as you're making them sound? Probably worse. <laughs> Backing and tending to our dead will take some time, but I'll leave everyone on the ship soon. Great, great, whatever. What you pulled out there, finding the dredge alone? Is that tied to a lead at all? I'm trying to best hold it all together. Keep pulling it all in, you lose it when these people need you the most. That was my reason for living after Aldous died. I remember, but make this caravan your reason now. There's still plenty for you to do. So I can see why people, uh, you know, would enjoy this game, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's not, not really uh, catching my interest. Chapter eight. I guess maybe the first seven chapters were. Uh, uh, I don't know what the hell all that was. Traveling merchants are surprisingly well stocked. Since Boar's Guard, our numbers have grown. People have scavenged for food and eaten it too. Regardless, we'll steam plenty of supplies. Thanks? Of course, I almost forgot. There's something ruffling the feathers of the ravens. Chat with their leader, but be careful. <laughs> oh, goodness, there's management as well. Hmm. This medallion gives you information about your caravan, including population, supplies, renown, and the number of days that have passed. This banner indicates that you have enough supplies to provision your caravan for nine days of resting or travel. A larger population requires more supplies per day to survive. You can acquire additional supplies at the market. These are the supplies the merchant has available. He will give you five per renown. And you need 12 supplies per day to survive. This shows what you have. Your 11, 111 supplies will last for 9 days. You have 18 renown available to purchase supplies. Click this button to add 15 or more supplies to your caravan. Okay, now you've added supplies. Confirm the change. Sure thing. Markets also have items available. Provide a great advantage. Your rank is shown in the red circles when finished. Uh, past the okay. Um, hmm. know what any of that is, so we're gonna wait. Who are you? Ah, former chieftain's widow. Demonstrating fletching an arrow for a few people. Give us a moment, will you? Well, I doubt you're here to explain your actions with the dredge. Do I need to? I wanted to discuss the clansmen. They're good at scavenging food. Only travel, we could always use more fighters. Training takes time. Not sure we have much of that to spare. To find a balance that works. I see. Thanks. Blah, blah, blah. Too much talking. Battery low. And my battery's low, apparently. So let's plug that in. Charging battery. Ugh. Normal caravan morale does not affect your hero's willpower in battle. Maintain sufficient supplies and rest in camp to improve morale. Great. Um, red skull icon shows that some of your units are injured. Use the rest tent to pass time. What red skull? Oh, okay. Well, let's rest. Morale has improved. Look at that. Okay. Uh, there's no haggling on this. You already accepted the offer in Boar's Guard. Get this one to do it. Get me to do what? 
Rook is seeking to the survivalist caravan, something I doubt you care to do. He won't be seeing anything much longer if he keeps fighting like he did earlier. But I'm still here now. I'm thankful for that. Your importance to these people can't be overstated. Okay, what are you three talking about? With respect, Rook, that stays between us for now. He needs help healing the wounded. One of these days, come on, Fang will get thirsty. His axes, blah, blah, blah. How long are you going to let Juno tell you what to do? Only to Arborang, then it's King Minoff's job. Like he's got an answer to this. He's royally pissed himself if he ever saw a dredge. Queen Matt? Shield Maiden. I already know who you are. Is there a problem? You stopping to save every fey and idiot along the river will get us all killed. Makes more sense to only stop the ships when we need supplies. And get rid of half these useless people, too. They're slowing us down. Don't tell me what to do with my people. Let's worry about the ravens. This one knows better than to cross us. Alright. Are we good now? Can we go... Can we go kill some things? Hakan, a warrior, recently acknowledged as king of the Varl, paces the dock. Not sure I was made for this, he says as you approach. Commanding in battle is one thing, but deciding how many chickens we need to bring? I'm just as lost as you are. Is that so? Seems like you were born to lead these humans. Maybe Varl are more yaks headed than just horns. Alright, let's go. Great. Light the funeral pyre. I don't care. Let's go kill some shit. Come on! Has a very long flag. Just saying. Now, I can, like I said, I can appreciate the craftsmanship that went into this and see why some people uh, like it, but um, for me, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just not, not doing it for me. Um, Leo looks ill. It's too much talking. I mean, maybe I'd be more invested in whatever the hell they're talking about if I played the first Banner Saga, but I don't have it. I just have this one. So, I mean, maybe maybe I'd feel more attachment and actually care what goes on with these people. But, um, yeah, they've never been breached. Of course. Growing walls should certainly keep a dredge army at bay. Blah, blah, blah. Morale improved for... Doing nothing. Alright, map of the... Oh my goodness, map of the world. Alright. Where are we going? Location of caravan is indicated here. We recently embarked from Aleo's village and traveling westward down the Ormsma River. Okay. Prior to arriving, the caravan had hurriedly embarked from Boar's Garden in the wake of the devastating siege. An aging and senile mess of a city that can't remember whether it wants to sell you something or steal everything you've got. So that's apparently where the first one took place. Boar's Guard. Attempting to reach Ormsdal by river. Cool storm. I don't care. I just want to go. We're trying to get all the way over there. All right. Click on it to learn more. From a humble beginning to the eventual seat of power of the king. Great. Uh, world map. Oh, jeez. I can click on all this shit. <laughs> Explore the map at any time. I. That's great. Okay. When you're finished, click this button. Click what button? Oh, this button. Okay. You can return to the map at any time. I don't care. As you travel through the world, time passes. The number of days passes up here. Each time a full day passes, your supplies will be consumed. Morale drops during continuous travel and when supplies run low. In order to raise morale, you must raise camp and allow your caravan to rest. Number of days where... Yeah, I got that. Cool. In order to maintain morale and heal injuries, you must rest in camp. Furthermore, camping provides you with opportunities to increase your battle prowess and converse with your heroes. I don't want to camp! We just got on the fucking boats! Are you kidding me? <sighs> Come on. Great. Let's rest. I don't... <laughs> At any time you can visit Hero's Tent. Okay. I'm just shown at the bottom of the roster. Trag items on here and equip them. 
Promote new units to equip higher rank items. What? Click on a unit to view stats, promote rank. Yeah, you. You. Sure. Abilities. How do I get out of here? Ah, oh, there we go. So, oh man. Get in there, Khan. What are you doing? What are, what, are, what are you doing? Get these rank five people in there. Big, big numbers. Let's go. Okay, so I see. So we can promote you like that. I, I got it. Picking up what they're putting down. Now, what are these? Plus three strength. There you go. One armor a turn. Plus one move dodge. Armor arrest. One aggro. There you go. All right. Can we? Can we go? Yes, leave. I don't care about talking to any of these people. <laughs> Let's go with our obnoxiously long flag. <clears throat> Shouted orders during several ships toward the bank. You have no choice but to call all the other vessels to a halt. By the time you land, a crowd is gathered by the water. Oh my goodness. I don't care. Are you the reason for this delay? Don't answer questions from backwater scum. Slam him into the nearest ship. Got no patience for mutiny. Neither do I, but you can't kill a governor. Wait. Since Boar's Guard was abandoned, you're not truly a governor of anything, are you, Ruga? You relax your grip and Governor Ruga knocks your hands away. Careful, Prince. Rivers are dangerous, especially this far from your papa's side. Uh, the Mender and I were just discussing Rook's banner. It'll make a nice addition to Bo's guard. Huh. Doesn't the prince outrank you? If anything, Rook's banner will join Abarang's, or are you claiming control of the entire kingdom, too? I'm just trying to guide my vulnerable prince home with some dignity and proper leadership. But it was Rook who led fights against Belor while you hid in the Great Hall, Governor. Overseeing a besieged town isn't hiding, Mender. It's just as fighting in a battle isn't necessarily leading. And it's settled. No more delays. Rook is our official guide to Arborang. But will consult me with major decisions. Um, sure, just get back on the boats. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Minus 12 supplies. Great. Morale declined. I don't care. Let's go fight some things. Drift was collected, creating an impressive barrier. Entirely going towards his own risks. Alright, let's fucking chop it up. Got company. Oh, thank god, we're about to fight something. I don't care. Let's go. Where'd all the rank 5 people go? What the... All right, fine. Get these rank four. Why do I have different items? What the? I'm so confused. Wow, that's, yeah, sure. All right, let's go. Place units anywhere. Alright, uh, that's cool. Let's go. <clears throat> what do you even do? You have a stick. You can fucking cast lightning. That's cool. Alright. In, in that case, you'll go right there. How? Good care of Emerald. Great. Great. Whatever. Enter. Hey, big boy, big boy, what you gonna do? You're gonna go right there. 
bring the pain. There is nobody to bring the pain to. Get that debris cleared. What do you do? You do a stone wall. What the fuck does that do? I don't know. Let's move you over here. Sure, go ahead. What's that do? I don't know. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a dude over there. Well, let's go here. What's this? Forge ahead. Not doing Select one adjacent ally to move next to the initiative. Alright, well, we don't have any adjacent allies. Who are you? You are... What do you do? You've got a stick. You can impale people. Fun! Alright. Let's move right here. That's it. Come on now. Ow. You cannot attack anybody. You can do rain of arrows fun times. Alright, my man. Lightning bolt. That's it? Two damage? What the fuck, bro? Alright, bring the pain! Alright, smashed up his arm. Ah! Not cool, my man. Okay. Oh man, it's a big hit. Um. Dad, what? Oh wow, little bitch boy. All right. Um. Definitely can't do anything there. Uh, well, we can move over here. And then we can shank you. Knock back one tile. Bleed one strength on their next turn. Or we can attack you for three strength right now. Let's do that, shall we? Let's move up here. What's this rain of arrows? We can't... can't do that. Okay. And... wow. You can't... can't do that either. Alright. Um, you're fucking useless. Great. Uh, lightning bolt. Oh, I should have used the willpower to fucking kill him. Oh, cool. Alright, let's go here. And, uh, smack the shit out of him. Jeez. Uh-oh. Ouch. Alright. Kill. Alright, my bro here is looking a little, uh... A little rough. Let's try and go over here. Let's we'll smash up your armor some more. Alright, it is your turn. So, why don't you... Let's go right there. No, no, no. Not impale. Stabby, stabby.
Uh oh. Alright, you'll at least be in range of somebody. What does this do? Traps one tile, one X strength damage if entered within one turn. That's fucking pointless. Whatever. Um gosh, shoot the shit out of him. My bro's almost dead here. Stores armor. I don't want... Blast him. What? Find that arc around to like everybody else and fuck them up real good. That's stupid. Alright. Let's back it up. This is a hazard. Yes. Glowy stones, very bad. Oh yeah, this guy's deader than dead. Ow. Oh, yes. I don't know why we're dealing so much damage to him, but you know what? Murderize. Alright, now let's move over here. Shank you again. Oh, fuck. Hey, you're still still living tonight. That's good. What? I didn't tell you to use willpower. Oh, fuck! What? Just hit my own guy. Uh oh. Leave me alone. Stone skin. That's good. That's a good one. Oh shit. How are you still alive? Oh no. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. I was gonna say. <clears throat> Not looking very good. Not uh, use. Oh, let's not do the chain lightning thing because we probably just end up electrocuting ourselves. Let's move you over here. That's fine. All fine.
fuck, you can't deal any damage. Stone wall. Good thing. All right, let's see. You make your way over here. Forge ahead. What? I said forge ahead. Kill. chance to hit means target armor greater than your strength. Break the target's armor first. Okay. How come that little bitch boy gets to run whenever he's hit? Hardly seems fair. Die. Or not, because we're fucking useless. Oh my god! Fucking world's most worthless archer. Kill him. Kill him now. Okay. Hear the axeman cheers. The blockage of wood breaks up and disappears down the river, but the dredge of regroup. One of them looks especially menacing. Fighters around you are tired, but goodbye everyone else. Enough time to safely board the ships. Fuck all that. Get to the ships. I don't give a shit. Ships move away. Everyone is safe until the glowing. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, goodbye one ship. Minus 28 clansmen. Minus 12 fighters. Minus 2 varl. Victory. Morale declined. My renown grows. Promoted. Oh boy. Hey, we lost a bunch of people, but good job. You guys all got promoted. Consequences. Injured. 8 renown. Woohoo. Alright, well, we are going to wrap it up. Um, yeah, that's enough of this. Um, it's interesting, but it's not for me. Uh, I can appreciate how it would be for other people, though. So, thank you all for watching, as always. We'll see you in the next one when we come back with uh, whatever's next on the list.